Uh-huh. Yes? Can you not see it? I think so. Can you see me? Oh, wait, you I think, uh, I think, I think it's fine if you leave it up there, because then you get to hold it, your arms will get tired. <laughs> can you, can you see and hear me? Yeah, I can, I can see you very clearly. Oh, okay, cool. thank cool. you. <clears throat> Hello, New York City! <laughs> My name is Dhruv Gupta, and I s s s s s s stutter. I am working on my speech. This challenge will make me more comfortable with my speaking. If you have any questions about stuttering, please feel free to let me know. I announced this yesterday on a New York City subway car. When I entered the American Institute for Stuttering on January 7, 2013, after flying for 28 hours over 9,000 miles, I was full of questions. What kind of people would I meet in this program? Will this program teach me tools that I didn't already know? Was my life going to change in just three weeks? Let me attempt to answer these questions for you now. What kind of people did I meet? People who are real. People with problems and real emotions. People who are kind, friendly, incredibly gorgeous. And most, <laughs> and most importantly, resilient. Resilience is a big word. And I use this word because people who stutter are a resilient group of people. We learned this theory that people who stutter are like icebergs. You only see 10% of our true emotions, and we hide the balance 90% inside. Feelings of shame, embarrassment, fear of rejection. Your family and friends here who stutter have had these feelings, as have I. But what makes them resilient is having the courage to stand up to these feelings address them and say, I am going to manage my speech. What makes them resilient is coming here and facing one of the biggest problems of their lives. My second question was, will this program teach me tools that I didn't already know? Whereas before, I may anticipate a word coming up, such as apple, and block on it, like... Apple. I have learned to pull out of the block. I have become best friends with my vocal cords. <laughs> or, as we call them here, vocal folds. <laughs> and warm up every morning with... Oh... <laughs> So if I want, I can upshift to continuous voicing with prolongations and pauses, which sounds something like this. I learn mind tools like turn around thinking after a speaking situation that I used to think has gone bad. I would nitpick on all the bad things. I've now learned that every sentence is a new beginning. And I turn my thinking around. I nitpick on the good things. What was amazing about it. Why it was a success. I've also learned easy onsets with light contact prolongations. This helps me ease into a sentence with natural tension and only lightly tapping on sounds. Stuttering forward. Even when you stutter, keep moving forward with your th th thought process. 
Self-advertise. I am comfortable sharing with everyone that I stutter. You will probably be thinking, why advertise a perceived fault when you can hide it? I will tell you, I do not think stuttering is a fault. It is a symbol of resilience. It is a challenge that we will stand to. Now lastly, has my life changed in three weeks? Without a doubt. What's changed the most is my attitude, my commitment to my speech. As I have learned from my fellow stutterers in this room, resilience is what we need to move forward. Resilience means even in the face of situations that we perceive to be difficult, we will not give up. I will practice daily because that is the only way one week, one month, or one year from now I'll be able to remember all these tools and continue to use them on a daily basis. The American Institute for Stuttering is a special place, a place where lives are changed, relationships are formed, and dreams are refueled. I want to say thank you for your support, advice, and most importantly, love here. I wish that all of us can stay in touch in this program and help us become our own therapists through support. Remember, stutterers are resilient and stuttering is sexy. <laughs>